I'm making my breakfast Juicy Lucy's, which are a sausage, egg and cheese sandwich where the cheese is on the inside of the meat. So to start, I have a pound of ground pork and I'm spreading it out in my bowl to increase the surface area and that's gonna help the spices distribute. I'll season with three quarters of a teaspoon of kosher salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. I'm gonna add a few passes of nutmeg, a good pinch of crushed red pepper, and then a half teaspoon each of fennel seeds, dried sage, and dried thyme. And the combination of those three just screams sausage. And then one and a half teaspoons of brown sugar for that perfect hint of sweetness. And now I'll mix this together with my hands. I don't wanna over mix it and make the meat tough. And if you wanted to use ground turkey or ground chicken, you could totally change up the meat. I'm gonna divide this into four equal pieces. It'll make four nice big sandwiches. I'll take a ball of meat and I'm gonna create a divot in the center and that's where the cheese is gonna go. And I'll take a slice of cheese. I'm using American cheese here because I love American cheese on my breakfast sandwiches. And it gets extra melty. I'll place it right in the divot and then I'll pinch the edges of the meat around the cheese to fully encase it, like a meat dumpling. I'll keep on forming my patties. I'll wash up. Okay. I'm gonna season the outside of my patties with salt and pepper, and that'll help them get that nice brown crust, which is so tasty. I've got my pan heating here over medium high, and I'm not gonna add any oil because there is quite a bit of fat in the sausage already. And I'll cook these on both sides until they're browned and fully cooked through and extra melty. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Let me season the other side. Oh yeah, that's some good color on there. And all the fat that's coming out of them, I'm gonna use that to cook the eggs. The sausage is looking good. I'll get it off the pan. This is gonna be good. I can smell how crispy these are. All right, while well, my pan is still hot, I'm gonna crack the eggs in. I'll crack these in. I'll cover these and I'll let them cook until they are fully set. And grab my English muffins. They're broiling in the oven. They're beautiful, perfectly toasty and buttery. I've gotta have hot sauce on my eggs. And I've got some fun paper and stickers to wrap these up. Okay, the eggs look great. I'll lift up my ring molt. Oh yeah, look how gorgeous those are. I'll season with salt and pepper. All right, I'm ready to stack them up. I'll grab my sausage. And then the egg. This egg is so circular. I'm obsessed. I'll add a smiley face of sriracha. It'll be the perfect amount. A lot of foods in my life have smiley faces these days. I'll give you one guess why. Okay, it's time for my very big, very favorite secret about breakfast sandwiches. Whenever I'm making them, no matter if we're eating them in a field or eating them right here at the table, I always finish them off by wrapping them in wax paper or foil or a kitchen towel, and that's so that everything can steam and meld together and then the bread gets a little soft. It tastes like you just got it from a drive-thru in the best way possible. It just needs to sit for a few minutes wrapped up, and then it's ready to eat. Ta-da! I can feel it steaming already. Juicy Lucy's are the best.